guys it's your girl like where goddess and tara how are you guys doing i hope you guys are starting your 2022 off right it's a great time to get you some sage today is also a new moon so you know it's a great time to bust down any manifestation practices that you are interested in or called to do um but it's a wonderful time to do some cleaning throw things out that no longer serve you um you know just um do some rituals just to remove negative energy negative thoughts as well as some salt baths um you know just to release any um any anything you feel is holding you back from last year's energy but anyways i wanted to show you guys my planner god goals growing and glowing i got this at marshall's and who is this by it is by thomas and coca they are it is a black owned company um based out of canada so i love this planner i usually have a big old one but you know i'm trying to do different things in 2022 so i just want to show you guys that all right i'm not sponsored or anything it's just something i brought and i like you to a little spirituality a little chicness because you know i'm that girl but so in one of the comments in my videos like i said I really appreciate when you guys leave me comments it really makes me feel happy and i love to hear that things are resonating so even if i don't respond to you as i said i'm a very busy person outside of when i do tarot just know that i do see the comments and i do really love to hear when you guys tell me like oh my god this this really resonates thank you so god bless you for that but someone said they wanted to know is is their person or the person on your mind vulnerable with the third party karmic so what i'm gonna think about with that one i'm gonna actually look into um what are their feelings about the karmic what's the karmic relationship like um we're focusing on a karmic energy but it can just be if your person is dating somebody new um what's that relationship looking like so we'll just break it down to the third party and we'll see if we get karmic cards coming out i know y'all some nosy people okay that's why y'all part of my collective father god spiritual guys ancient ancestors please let this be a message for the collective of love light beauty and blessings please keep out all of all low vibrational dark demonic energy as it's not welcome in my spirit or that of the collective and so it is as it be amen i say now I'm going to drop a trickle warning on it because when I was walking over to this table with my Cheez-Its and my orange juice, Spirit told me to say I'm going to drop a trigger warning on it because you know what, guys? Sometimes, whether you're in the twin flame journey, the soulmate journey, whatever, you're separated from someone you still love, sometimes they could get in a relationship and actually have per feelings for that person. So I'm just saying that, okay? You know, don't think that the karmic relationships are always like your person hates the karmic. No, nah, they be dead ass in love with them. It, it might be a toxic love, but they in love or they think they are. So I just want to say that, but it's okay, y'all. I love you and so does the Father God. All right. Okay, Spirit. So how does the um, person on the collector's mind, how do they currently feel about the third party? How do they currently feel about the part, third party, especially with the new year? The new year and with new moon, new energy, people are really getting into the energy of wanting to release things from their life. So it will be very interesting to see how they feel. Back of the deck is luck is on your side, Sagittarius energy. And what did it say? New moon and Sagittarius. Well, let, me, well, let me see. What is today's moon? What is today's So we're in new moon and Capricorn. Okay, duh, because we're in Capricorn season. So new moon and Sagittarius, something could have just happened during Sagittarius that is now playing out during this new moon cycle in Capricorn. Ooh, reversal. Is it worth it? Let, worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it, then reverse it. It's yours from your plane game. Yeah, listen, everything in reversal. Look at that. And my cards are in a mix, but I'm going to take it. All right. Listen, how is your person feeling about the third party? We have have faith in your dreams in reverse. Communication is key in reverse. Gemini energy. Take time to breathe out in reverse. Meditate and contemplate. Pisces energy in reverse. Your dreams need a practical plan. Taurus energy in reverse and believe in the impossible. Guys, this is giving me they done with them. They done with them. If they haven't left them, they done with them. Reversals in tarot, at least in my interpretation, is always karmic energy. Now, this person don't even have faith no more that this shit could work. They not communicate. And so for a lot of you guys, they broke up. There was a lot of energy going on. Ooh, child. There was a lot of energy going on. Um... There was a lot of energy going on with a lot of tarot readers um, talking about like in the holidays, there was big breakups because we know during the holidays, 
if you in a relationship you don't want to be in that relationship can really break up because you got to spend time with family especially if you got kids whatever so i feel like something happened during sagittarius season that made this person feel like that oh look at that it's time to release negativity scorpio in reverse jesus Like, nah, it's not time. I let it go is what I've heard. Okay, so they ain't communicating. This person could have been in the energy of like, let me breathe out. Let me sleep on it. Nah, made a decision. They no longer meditating and contemplating. Made a decision. Um, they, not, they used to be focused on a practical plan, meaning they was very focused on making it work due to practical reasons. Could be money, could be finances, could be houses. You know, it was the end of the year. I did say in some of my tarot videos throughout the year that some people were staying in third-party karmic relationships due to like a lease a family a house lease the end of the year that lease could have been up come january 1st or, or december 31st so somebody's out the door that's for somebody um and yeah mm. yeah they ain't even focus on the practical reasons and then believe in the impossible this person could have felt like previously you know it's impossible to make this work but they were so much in love and so invested in the relationship that they still believed in it now they don't so what i'm getting for y'all is right now for somebody out there this is going to resonate for a certain certain group of the collective your person is done with the third party like literally may have broken up or just completely done something happened and we gonna figure out because we know z um yeah something happened they are completely done and it's all reversal karmic energy the only one that is upright is luck is on your side so it's kind of like spirit said as soon as they let go of this third party karmic now now their karmic cycle is going to close they bring in luck into their life your person feel good they feel abundant ever since they got this little devil out their life okay spirit give me more Ooh, yeah this person realized they need to nurture themselves first Okay, have faith in your dreams in reverse. This person could have, this third party could have been breaking down your person's confidence, could have made them feel that they, that, you know, they're not valuable, but now they're letting this person go. They're fading away and they're focusing on themselves first. They realize that they lost themselves in this relationship. So they're no longer cl claiming this mother effort. We got to claim your art, but it's in reverse. They're no longer claiming them. So a lot of them, they broke up. And your person is in the energy. You know when you get out of a toxic relationship after the part where you sit down and you're sad? When you sit down and really think, you start to really um, get in that, that I hate to say it, but that I, I hate you mode. Like, you fucked my life up mode. What was I thinking? This is the energy your person's in. Look at that. Communication is key in reverse. Reassess. What did I say? Your person's in the energy of thinking and thinking about this decision. Why did I get with this person? What was I doing? This was so stupid. I wasted so much time. Some of them, some really serious repercussions could have came out of this. Something legal, custody battles, issues with family members. They're like, why did I even go towards this energy? Look at that. Let go and enjoy. It would take time to breathe out. I feel like your person could have been previously in the energy of like, let's just let this breathe out. Let's just let this work out. Let me stop trying to control the situation. Let me let go and just enjoy. Nah, they not doing that no more. They said, I'm making a plan and I'm out the door. Ooh, it, it got bad, y'all. It's not even funny because the energy I'm getting is like, whoa. I didn't think I was going to get all reversals because I heard trigger warning. But maybe God had another trigger and ain't mine. Um, meditate, uh, another thing, like this could just be very heavy energy is what I'm, what I'm hearing. Meditate and contemplate in reverse. Ooh, child. Look at that. Look forward and reach for the stars. Reflect on your truth. Now, so your, your person sees you shining your light bright, bright, bright like a diamond. They've been in the darkness. Now, they no longer meditating and contemplating. If this person has to come towards you, they are about to be at the dough, on the phone, in the email, in the DM, because they're looking forward to a relationship with you. They see you as they star. They thinking, what the was I doing? I was under a trance, under a spell. Some of them was really under a spell. Okay, now they're reflecting on their truth, and they're like, damn, I love the collective. Look at them over there shining bright like a diamond, and I'm over here with this cockroach. I'm sorry, I just heard that. I'm not talking about looks. I'm talking about the inside. Never trust the big button to smile. That girl is poison. Yep. All right. Your dreams need a practical plan. Bust out of your cocoon. Ooh, this person said, F the cocoon. I don't need to transform and go through metamorphosis. See, when your person with this, your person got some issues, right? But they really thought that through hanging on, hanging on by a thread in this toxic relationship, you know, a lot of times when people are in toxic relationships, it's kind of like they're trying to heal the person. And they think that through healing this person, just say like they had a, a toxic parent, they might feel like 
through healing this connection or saving this person, it kind of subconsciously helps them feel like they saved a part of themselves as a child or a part. So say they see, say this person's an alcoholic, right? And say they grew up with an alcoholic parent. This person might go towards them and try to work on it no matter how bad it is. Because in their mind, it's going to soothe that inner child that couldn't save their parent if they can save their partner. That's for somebody. But this person, so when I see bust out of your cocoon in reverse, this person was willing to go through a transformation process with this person. They thought that they could change. They were really thinking that they have some toxic ways, but they were thinking like, okay, it's me. I'm the issue. I'm not good enough for this person, but I need to think about this practically. I need to invest my time and energy here. And now they're like, fuck the cocoon. I don't even want to come out and be a butterfly because guess what? They done learned if they go into a cocoon with this person, they're going to come out as a moth, not a butterfly. <laughs> okay. Believe in the impossible. Oh my God, spirit. Look at it. Fell right on top. Do y'all see that? My spiritual guys ain't playing. They're not playing today. Deck is closed. So that's the message of the oracle. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. okay look at that believe in the impossible accept disappointments gracefully your part in reverse your person wants this third party karmic to just accept the disappointment gracefully because they are third party karmic i'm getting i'm getting i was gonna say just third party but i got all reversals so it's karmic and i'm getting a karmic energy this person is like listen can you just accept the disappointment gracefully energetically your person's been trying to leave this person for a while but now they don't give a f they're no longer believing in the impossible Okay, so they feel like this person just needs to accept what it is. This third, this this karmic could be on your person's phone, coming to their house, acting absolutely crazy, being really, really emotionally unstable, and not willing to accept that your person don't want nothing to do with them no more. So they would, they really just want them to take it gracefully and just move on. Your person has accepted that this was a bad decision. It's not gonna work. It's impossible for it to work, and I no longer believe in that. And now they're counting their blessings. So they want to move back towards definitely getting a masculine energy. Wants to move back towards the divine feminine who has faded away okay whoo child if i can't mm -mm -mm. Do, 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 do. betrayed by the booty yay all right let's get into the tarot oh jesus 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 all right let's draw some tarot on this all right spirit <sighs> Give me the past energy of the connection with the karmic and the collective person. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Okay, y'all. If I could pick this shit up. Okay, Ace of Cups in reverse. So you thought it was all love, but it wasn't. Your person been pulled they cut back. Yeah, because they was all tied up in your head. You got a spiritual soul connection with this person. So they got with this person for whatever reason to try to forget about you, attraction, sex, whatever. But they was all up in their head the whole time because there was no love there. Look at that. But okay, past energy is I'm thinking the recent past. I'm, I'm really here in Sagittarius season. But I feel like throughout the whole time you've been in no contact or disconnect from this person. Minimal contact. This has been the energy that they have not been telling you. They realized very quickly that they not in love with this this karmic and it was all up in their head about their decision but they had already what did i say energetically made a decision to a swords in reverse that they was not feeling this person you know what i'm saying but they wasn't nine of swords energy losing sleep and very much um feeling stupid but for some reason i am here in stagnation it's like they had this realization but then there was like i made my bed and laid in it laid in it so let me still work practically on this connection like i said some of them could have lived together had children had businesses something like that that caused this person to stay here or just the feeling of you don't want them anymore right so yeah they were in the past energy they was in king of wands energy okay cocky all about the sex, passionate, thinking like, you know what? I might not have love, but, you know, I'm attracted to this mother effer. Um, a visionary, incredible confidence, creative genius, success, entrepreneurial mastery, assertiveness, and an excellent leader. Believe in yourself. So this person, you know what it was, y'all? This third-party karmic could have been very attractive. Or something about this third-party karmic made your person feel like King of Wands. I feel like you're very independent. You're very much the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, whether you're a masculine or feminine. Switch the roles if you need to. The fact that this third party needed some sort of, sort of saving is what I'm getting. Made your person very confident. And I feel like you intimidate them. So although there was not love there, the feeling that they felt by providing and protecting and leading this third party. Because I'm getting a third party karmic that don't know how to, that don't know one from two. That don't know yellow from blue. They, they, they was all, but I feel like they was emotionally manipulative too. 
they knew this about your person and they use that to their advantage so your person got blizzard um and um yeah so your person did stay because of that energy give me more on this ace of cups for the past energy look at that three of cups we can't make this shit up so yeah your person was in a third party situation but they weren't in love okay yeah they wasn't following their intuition with the high priestess in reverse okay uh you know why they wasn't following their intuition? Because didn't I say you very much the queen of pentacles? They couldn't stop thinking about your ass the whole goddamn time. Miss Single, abundant, got to the money, got to the bag. But this person was thinking with that wand. Feeling validated, feeling feeling needed. This person does have some childhood wounds. Feeling, va feeling validated, feeling needed. You the queen of pentacles. You don't need them. They need somebody who needs them. They're threatened by your hustle. Okay, that's a term that Mystic Beauty says in a lot of her videos. So shout out to her. I love her tarot readings. But that's what just came into my mind. This person was threatened by your hustle. Okay? Um, and the fact that you don't need them. So they're very masculine, kind of in a toxic masculine energy where they gravitate towards like damsel in distress type of people. Okay? Look at that. And although they, they loved you and they, 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 although they was thinking about you, they were showing up as the King of Cups in reverse. They wasn't giving a couple love to nobody. So they wasn't in a conflict with themselves. Five of Wands. Give me the Eight of Swords. And that also means that they wasn't in love with the person they was with. Give me the past energy with this third party karmic situation. We're going to go in. This might be a little long, but it's it's the second day and I'm feeling juiced up. When I get the energy and I know I'm getting the message clear, I, I love it. Look at that. Eight of Swords. They was all tied up because the love is in reverse. The, the person they was with, they wasn't in love with. Okay, they was thinking about their goddamn son the whole time that they low key really want to move to calmer waters with. Look what's peeking out the Queen of Cups, thinking about you. Although they was in karmic energy, they think about the person that they know loves them. Who is that person? The motherfucking Empress. What did I say? We had the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress come out. Thank you, Spirit. You're on fire. So they think about the Empress that they know they would have had victory with. They think about that. That's why they was all tied up in their head. Okay, but they was lying, Ace of Swords in reverse. They was lying to themselves, holding back their truth. Give me the Two of Swords in reverse for the past energy with the third party. Look at that. This person couldn't make a decision, so they were showing up in Knight of Wands energy in your life, in and out, stagnant, typically only for sex, not giving you a solid full love offer because they was already in a motherfucking Four of Wands connection. They was already committed to somebody. Look at that. King of Swords, cold to everybody. Look at that. But what did I say? Whatever I say, y'all gonna do. Whatever I say, y'all gonna do. Whatever I say, y'all gonna do, gonna do, gonna do, gonna do, gonna do. Sorry. Okay, so I was saying the person was in this energy of being all up in their head, but for some reason they just accepted that this was what the this was their decision. I'm in love with the collective, but I effed it up. So now I gotta stay with this cuckoo for Coke Puffs psychotic karmic, right? Okay, now nine of swords in reverse. There was all let me get the reversal definition for you guys, okay? Because like I said, I love the definitions in these books. In this book particularly. Particularly, um, so yeah, night terrors, paranoia, deep seated fears that affect your daily life, an opportunity to reevaluate and begin handling your relationship with your thoughts. So, this person was really in Nine of Swords energy like, really, 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 really feeling effed up, feeling lost, feeling trapped, but not showing it to everyone. It was coming out in some of their behaviors within the recent past, within the, I would say the last four to five months. At which this person, because I feel a lot of you guys have not been speaking to this person for four to five months, complete cut off, and you've been doing your thing. This person was really much in their head. And this feeling of nine of swords in reverse got so prevalent within this king of wands energy of your person that a tower moment came and the tower moment came and that's what resulted in the breakdown of this connection. It was about a lot of secrets and how your person wants balance in their life with temperance. So there was a lot of secrets your person could have revealed to the third. We're going to look into specifically what that tower was. The spirit will give us access to that. But I'm feeling like it could be your person found out something about the karmic or the karmic your person told them that they are in love with you. Look at that. Now, the King of Wands chariot, they want to move towards you. Oh, they obsessed with your ass. Oh, no, we got past energy. Spirit said, go to past energy. This person moved towards a toxic situation. That's what they did in the past. They walked towards that, a Ten of Cups situation. Where there was no love, Knight of Cups in reverse. But, like I said, Ten of Cups is practical Ten of Cups is family life. Look at that kid. So this so this this person, your person, very much could have got with somebody that they got pregnant. Look at that. The Knight of Cups coming up again. Look at that. The whole time, who they thinking about? Who they thinking about? 
divine counterparts, the queen of wands, sexy, confident, decision maker, get into the bag, you are my sunshine. Look at that, happy, living your life. They think about you and you think about yourself. So wherever they went, or the person that they got with could have been a queen of wands, very sexually attractive, very beautiful, somebody that they thought they could have abundant life with, but quickly realized there wasn't no love. But they did get into a relationship. Like it could have been the honeymoon phase when you really feel in somebody, but I feel like it has a lot to do with a family because the Ten of Cups is the family card. All right, now let's see. Let's see what this tower moment was about, Spirit. Give me more on this tower moment. Spirit, give me more on this tower moment. What caused the breakdown with the third party? And the collective person, what caused the breakdown? Five of Swords. The Fool. The Lovers in Reverse. The Sun in the Reverse. Look at that, the Tower coming out again. So we get in a real message, y'all. With six of swords. Give me a five of swords and five of swords. What caused the breakdown is literally just your person realizing that they did not want to be with this person. There's something about this third party's behavior that made your person realize five of swords. I need to walk away and turn my back. But also, let me let me just get the five of swords in this book as well. I hope I'm not getting on y'all's nerves. But an opportunity to let go of disagreements, a need to build your skills and confidence, stress, being an underdog, winning at all costs, conflict, unfair advantages, competition, losing an impossible battle. Look at that. Believe in the impossible in reverse and insecurity. So this person made your person feel not, nothing but those feelings. Insecurity, 1144 was just on the clock. Insecure, um low like look at that feminine energy cat treating your person like a mouse like tom and jerry always back and forth controlling dominating so you're this 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 third party started off being very emotional feminine and i feel like you are somebody who is very much only going to be loving and nurturing if you are getting the same no not this manipulative uh karmic so they was very loving but once they got your person it's like the claws came out look at that Look at that feminine, shoot, controlling them. Where are you at? What are you doing? So your person realizing that made them want to turn their back on this person and take a leap of faith somewhere else. The big boy leap of faith also made them feel like a fool. Now with the lovers in reverse, them realizing that they're not in love and they're not happy is what brought about this tower. And then that resulted in them to like, listen, that coming right on top of count your blessings, the six of swords. I'm like I need to move to calmer water. But look at that. It's a goddamn turtle. The turtle's in the hair. Okay, I feel like your person, I feel like that's you. Pack it, your shit packed up, ready to go. And we know a, a bunny is fast, okay? And your person moving slow. But some of you are still energetically waiting on them. Now, five of swords came out with the knight of cups. So them realizing they're not happy is making them want to come in and apologize to yourself. The full 2.0, what causes breakdown with the third party karmic? Four of cups. Okay, the fool, they, them taking back their cup of love because they made a decision. Two of swords in reverse. The lovers in reverse. It, it just wasn't working out is what I'm hearing. It was too much fighting, too much arguing, and they didn't want it no more. Look at that. Now, the lovers in reverse, they realized that they was the... Look at... What did I say? What did I say? That the person I got with could have presented themselves as a queen of wands, but they soon found out that they were a karmic. Rude. Deceitful. Um, could have been um, overly promiscuous, could have lied about a lot of things in their life, could have just been a bitch is what I'm hearing, you know, and I'm sorry to curse so much, but when I'm channeling, channeling that's what I get. This person was insecure, jealous, um, wasn't, so when your person met this person, they could have been very social. But when they got with them, they just wanted to be all up under your person. Hidden aspects of a person's personality. Being egotistical, selfish, and a need for external validation. Your person, this karmic, was like a clingy bitch. When your person got with them, they didn't understand how are you queen of wands. You're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. But you're, you're very insecure. This person needed saving because your person and this person also had childhood trauma. So it's like when your person first met this person, they wanted to go out. They wanted to have a good time. But then as soon as they got into a relationship, it's like they only wanted to be up under your person. And they became very jealous, very insecure, very clingy, very psycho with it. Okay, where are you at? What are you doing? Like, they needed validation from your person at all times, and your person was not attracted to that. But this is the person they offered their cup to. We had the reversal when it came to you, right? So they were attracted to this person because they thought they were the queen of wands. 
because that's how they prevented themselves. They came off as confident, creative, goal-oriented, ambitious, joyful, determined, a social butterfly, charisma, outgoing, open, and an interest in the occult, which is so interesting to me because guess what? That's you. That's you. But you were the real deal. But for some reason, and so many tarot readers have been saying this, your person tried to find you in someone else, but there's no other you collective. And they realized that shit real quick. I don't know what it is about you. Maybe when your person met you, maybe you didn't have as much as you had now. Maybe you look different. There's something about you. We're going to look into what the blockage was with you. I feel like really it was fear. So of course, your high vibration, vibrational, your person went and gravitated towards low vibration that they thought was you come on now okay everybody meet mrs me too oh my god give me the sun in reverse three of cups yeah your person realized they wasn't unhappy in this third party situation give me the tower ace of pentacles in reverse with the two of cups now your person no longer wants to be in hermit mode towards you the tower moment is that they pull back they love offer from this person and now they're thinking about coming towards you all right, and offering you love. Look how happy the goddamn dolphin is with you. Okay, they don't want to be a knight of wands energy anymore. They don't want to be just in and out. They want to um stay and be your man or girlfriend. Look at that. Six of swords, they no longer want to juggle. Two of pentacles in reverse and uh, seven of wands in reverse. They no longer want to fight you off or self-sabotage or guard themselves your person got with this karmic energy queen of wands in reverse because they had the same low vibration and your vibration was too high it's like your person thought it's so crazy how vibration vibrational frequencies allow you to make subconscious decisions your person thought that you were too good to be true it's because your high vibration was unfamiliar to their ass so they pushed you away and when they met someone who was on their vibration subconsciously they're like this person makes me feel more comfortable but it was low vibrational, so it wasn't true. Okay, and Spirit said, that ain't nothing but the goddamn truth, Ace of Swords. Back of the deck, Six of Pentacles in reverse. They ain't given to this person nothing. They could have been given the money. Ooh, this person, this, this Queen of Wands in reverse, it was so interesting to me how in the book it said hidden personality. Hidden personality. Like, they came off very confident, very abundant. Everything your person was thinking, your person thought you was going to be too good to be true. So they got with somebody who really was the reflection of their fears of you. You are what you well, you are what you project. So you better protect your neck. Now let's see, spirit. Spirit said, let me pick up my other deck. Look at that once again. Six of Swords. They want to move to, towards Karma Waters with you, spirit. Now what was the blockage? What was the blockage with the um, the collective's person and the collective? Why did they choose this karmic energy over the collective? Spirit is saying what I said was true, but let's just see if we can get a little more energy on it. Why did this person choose? Okay. Look at the king of wands coming out again with the tower again, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let me clarify this magician. Why did this person choose the karmic over the collective? Fair said that's the truth. Ace of Sports coming out again. Everything I'm saying is true. Yep. <sighs> stupid. They are just stupid. Okay, the tower. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take it because it came over now. What did they go towards? Something that made them ever great. Okay. Give me the tower. Mm. Mm. Still thinking about you, single and abundant in this nine of pentacles energy. So the blockage was basically what I said is what I'm getting, that your person was it was in a low vibrational karmic energy. So if you're low vibrational, you can't maintain 
a connection with a high vibrational being, okay? And then on top of that, your person also was still had some spiritual lessons to learn, as did you. So it just wasn't the time for y'all to be together is what Spirit is saying. Now, your person was giving towards more than one person. And it's like, I feel like your person was trying to manifest something like great in their life. Let me get some. I feel like your person wanted somebody who really looked a certain way. I'm really getting that, y'all. And I'm not, I know y'all are fine, but I feel like your person was looking for a certain look and maybe you're different. I don't know why I'm getting this. And so it's like they, they went, they gave to people who are more like superficial, more 3D, who they thought more societal would look at them better. Like, you know, I'm a very slim girl. So I would say like, and yeah, while they weren't giving to you with the six of, with the nine of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, they actually know not that, not that they weren't giving to you. This person wasn't single. Okay. Or at the time you could have not been in it. Look at that. Yep. 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 Spirit. Thank you. Look at the back of the deck energy. Y'all. This is why I love having two tarot decks. Nine of pentacles now. So at the time the person sees you now in nine of pentacles, get into the bag, independent, self-sufficient at the time you may not have been that way. You may not have dressed as nice. You may not have had as nice clothes. Maybe you didn't have your own place. It's something about where you were financially in your life or physically in your life that made this person gravitate towards someone else. I just saw 111. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so where did they go? Somewhere toxic. Because they were in this devil energy, cherry and the devil. They were going after something that was superficial. And Spirit said that's the truth. So this person went towards something that, that, that looked better. Even though intuitively they felt it wasn't going to work out, they went towards something that looked better. In addition, your person was all tied up in their head because deep down they knew they had a spiritual connection with you. With the Hierophant and the Eight of Swords, they knew that they wanted to be with you. And they was all tied up about this decision. Look at that. Didn't I say they wasn't following their intuition? Thank you so much, Spirit. They, they knew there was not going to be any balance there. Look at that. With the high priestess and temperance in reverse, they knew intuitively it wasn't going to work out. But they still went towards that situation. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Lazy, workaholic tendencies, taking unnecessary risks, impatient, waiting to see the harvest before you have sown the seeds. What did I say? This person impulsively didn't follow their decision just went towards something they didn't even get to really know this person they didn't check the car facts they didn't check the hood facts okay they seen something shiny and glittery it's kind of like it's kind of like say you have a lot of money and you ain't never had money before right and you see a business deal and you don't even research it you're just like oh my god it's like a get money quick scheme i'm gonna go and grab this your person was probably was in a place in their life where they feel like they had accumulated a certain level um and that cocky ass king of wands energy that they felt like this karmic was gonna fit the image that they were trying to perpetuate so they didn't even think about it they just went towards it okay now, Four of Cups, they wasn't taking an offer from Spirit or from you, giving you a love offer, but they was King of Cups the whole time in love with your ass. And because of that situation, because they moved towards another third party situation to build a solid foundation, this person, the third party could have had money or looked like they had money. Like I'm seeing someone who could have a lot of designer clothes and stuff or something like that, your person, or I don't know, it's something like that. It's gonna be different for everybody where your person felt like this is who they should be with. This person could have even just lived in a nicer area, you know? And um. That that led to your person being in deep regret, deep regret about their decision to go towards this third party because it was all superficial. It wasn't based on in love. They could have thought they was in love. Look at that. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Now they don't want to give to this person with the tower coming out twice on the table. Oh, my God. Now, give me the tower with the three of swords and judgment. Okay, their decision to make the decision to walk out of the soul contract relationship with you resulted in multiple towers within their life and nothing but heartbreak, a heartbreak, third party. Yeah, and judgment. Spirit put divine karma on their ass. Look at that. Now they don't want to be in and out and flighty. Now they want to get out of three of swords energy. Okay? Give me more on this tower. Mm, two towers. Ooh, it was a tower with you and it was a tower with the third party. Okay. Two of cups. Look at that. The sun in reverse. Ace of pentacles in reverse. Hermit in reverse with the two of cups. This person don't want to be isolated from you. They're not happy and they are pulling back their love offer. 
Give me the King of Wands with the um Seven of Swords with the oh okay. King of Wands with the Seven of Swords. This King of Wands was being sneaky as hell. But now they have nothing but regret and they know they did not get the return for what they invested in. Because all they can think about you is they you, they wish fulfillment. Mm. Spirit said you did it to yourself. Okay, now they want to drop the burdens. Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, <laughs> now they're in King, King of Swords energy, being cold, being a dickhead to everybody they around, being I, being really mean and nasty towards this karmic. If you was ever, um, if they was ever nasty and rude towards you, they're exactly like that to this third party right now. Okay, they've had enough is what I'm hearing. Okay, and they don't want to go down a path with this karmic. They're sick of it. Okay, they're no longer waiting. Three, three um, wands in reverse. So now we got the fool. And we got the set, the six of wands in a struggle position, the queen of swords in a struggle position, and we got the eight of cups in a struggle position. So for a long time, this leap of faith, y'all, this person knew there wasn't going to be victory. They struggled with the, with the mentality of going against their heart and their head space. They knew this bitch was a karmic queen of swords in reverse. She's in a struggle position. They were struggling to see them for who they really were, and they were struggling to walk away with the eight of cups. Now, give me more on that. Look at that. They knew this wasn't their soulmate. Six of cups in reverse. They, they're tired of waiting now. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. The cycle was closed out. This, the, the, wheel, the world's in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune and the upright. There was a cycle that they knew they were supposed to close out. Okay? It was already done, but they weren't. Spare, why wasn't they closing out this cycle? Queen of Swords came out again with the King of Wands in reverse because they were still toxic. They were still karmic. They were still karmic. That's why. And this Queen of Swords in a struggle position would knew how to, I'm hearing shape shift, knew how to go from being karmic to coming up in the upright, emotional manipulation. So what, this person played on your person's weaknesses very effectively. This was a trauma bond. And so they were staying in this situation, although they weren't happy because this Jekyll Hyde ass bitch would go from being a karmic to being loving and um, making decisions to being self-sufficient. So they kept your person in the loop of not, of thinking it was them. Mm. Now, we're just going to see how they currently feel about you right now. And then we're going to jump into messages. Because we already know how they feel about the karmic. I don't even think we need to look into that anymore. Because I think we know. I think we know. I think we really know. Mm. So, when you say... Let me just ask that question because somebody wanted to know... So was this person being, was the collective person being vulnerable and very open and loving with the karmic spirit is saying in the beginning? Once they found out about this person, no. But they were in the beginning. The emperor in reverse, the hangman in reverse, the page of wands in reverse. Oh, Lord. So they did take a leap of faith with this person. They were very clear about their decision. But I'm almost getting, they just didn't think it through too much. They could have been blinded. It could have been very sexual because it was a queen of wands in reverse coming out. It could have been very sexual. Um, Self-doubt, the angst of not ha yet having accomplished your goal, yet you need to d d redirect your energy. That's the page of wands in reverse. So this person was like overly invested, overzealous. Um, like overly excited about it, just really thinking it was going to work. But even though they had a lot of self-doubt, they hadn't really seen any reason to be treating this karmic like that. And they knew they needed to redirect their energy, but they stayed in that energy because of superficial things. Now, with the hangman in reverse, they were very... They knew they made this decision and they was going to go after it. They wasn't confused about it. This is what they wanted to do. But they were in karmic energy, you guys. You have to understand that the emperor in reverse is not able to make decision. They took a massive leap of faith with the full 2.0 towards something that they knew wasn't going to work out. It's like they went towards an image rather than love. So I would say this person was vulnerable, um, I was open, was excited. It's like when you just meet somebody and you feel like this person has everything you want and then you learn soon it's not it's not what you thought. So that's what I'm getting. So how does this collective person currently feel about my collective? I'm hearing you're my wifey. They see you as the true queen of wands. 
Okay, they want to heal the situation with the forest wars. They see you, beautiful abundance. Now they can really see. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. You know what I'm saying? They can see all the obstacles in their way. They see you as the real queen of wands. They see that everything they were looking for in someone else, you already embody. They feel like a fucking idiot. So they're trying to find the strength to come towards you because they see you as their lovers. They also see you in Queen of Pentacles energy. So they see your sexy... Con it's like with you, they feel like they will have everything. They'll have the love. They'll have the stability because you can get your own. You're not dependent on them. You're not codependent. You're motivated. You, you, you're good with your finances or you're working on your finances. You, you're independent, but you're also sexy. How else do they feel about my collective? say this oh they see you as a goddamn star y'all you got everything wish fulfillment yeah everything to this person okay and they're 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 in hangman though now when it comes to you because they don't think you want to take a leap of faith with them full 2.0 they don't want another tower tower in reverse they've had so many damn towers they don't want one with you they can't bear that but they want to work on shit with you eight of pentacles and they want to give towards you but they know they were being dishonest with the Ace of Swords in reverse. So they're very afraid. But they see you as everything. But I was just going to say, and I didn't want to say this, so please don't judge me. This person, I just heard, like, they felt dumb. Like, the, only, the, like the best quality the karmic had was the ability to suck a, a you-know-what. Okay. Some people can get blinded by sex. When I just say that, look at that. Two of Wands in reverse. This person definitely wants to come in. Um, I No, when I just said that, Spirit just clarified what I said, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, they gave their love offer to someone that it was very sexual with, Knight of Wands, but they they shouldn't have given them a cup. They should have kept it sexual. That's what Spirit is trying to tell me, that that's what your person was trying to say. Okay, now let's see. What's their next action towards you? Let me get my other deck. What's this person's next actions towards my... Uh, collective what's the collective's person's next actions towards the collective i see the emperor's trying to peek her way out Ooh, child page of pentacles they're gonna communicate with you they're gonna hit you up they feel like you got options they feel like you don't want them no more they're obsessed with you but they they can't get that well, look that get a son they just see you so beautiful and abundant and really doing good without them they gotta talk to your ass what else what's this person's next step towards my collective they are obsessed they're watching you you're the six of cups look at look at the queen of pentacles coming out again look at you look at you look at you look at you coming out again they just see you so abundant so amazing you got everything and the queen of pentacles is very much a stable wife so i feel like whoever they're with masculine or feminine that person was not stable so they really want you they really want you you have everything you come out as the queen of pentacles that person came out as only the queen of wands okay and then the queen of swords in reverse you got the, the mindset, the intelligence that that person lacked. Um, they could have been very beautiful, very attractive, but it was just sex is what your person's realizing. They were blinded by some booty. Okay, now Queen of Pentacles coming out with the Six of Cups. And a karmic is going to do whatever in the bedroom. Three sons, whatever, do do you. But I feel like you got a little more class collective. Anyways, no judgment, but I'm just saying. Um, never trust a big butt and a smile. So now they, they, they're thinking about you as being their soulmate and wanting to come towards you. What's their next step with the collective? Yep, look at that. They're struggling because they know they broke your heart. But they're going to take this leap of faith. Spirit said that's the truth. So they're coming towards you to give towards you equally. they all up in their head. Look at that. they all up in their head about giving you this love offer because they feel like you don't want their ass. Now, let's just get this some messages. I'm sorry if this was long, but I was in the energy, y'all. I was in the energy. All right. Okay, let's get some more on the karmic energy, spirit, messages to the collective. I'm sorry, I know some of these videos be very long, but look, look at the third party knows who you are. What did I say? It was fire. I chose lust over love. We know that and attractive physical only. It was physical only. Your person was so, look at that. You have caused many arguments. Ooh, because your person was in love with you the whole time. They realized, damn, the collective looked good too. But the collective's smart too. The collective got a good heart. The collective ain't crazy. 
Listen, blinded Jezebel spirit by a psycho jealous person. What did I say? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Give me more. Your person's like, hold on to our good times, baby, please. Look at that. They was with a clout chase of fraud. What did I say? They presented themselves as one way, but was really someone else. Your person could be older than this third party or vice versa. Um, your person saying they're not running a second longer. They're running away from this cuckoo for Coca Puffs. They did feel stuck. They did feel stuck in their actions. I'm staying to prevent the tower of chaos. Yeah, that's where they was at. They felt stuck. And I feel like they're not staying with the third party, but I'm getting they're staying away from you or they haven't communicated with you because they don't want another tower. What did I say? Legal drama and younger. So I feel like your person is older than this third party karmic and they're very stupid. And now they're like, why did I even go after this young person? That's for some of you. And legal drama. Didn't I say there could be something legal going on over there? This, like, this, this karmic could have called the cops on your person. I just seen police sirens. I'm someone you know. Nothing but arguments, drama, and games. And what did I say? Again, police sirens. Your person was blinded by fakeness. They were under a spell, and it was nothing but arguments and drama over there. Let's get some more messages from your person. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus. Messages for the collective from their person. I'm hearing, I don't want you to pleasing myself to your photos i bet they are because they don't even want to touch this third party no more they don't even want this it's like sometimes it's to the point where like you get so disgusted by someone's behavior you don't even want to have sex with them i chose them over you because my love for you scared me i regret that shit oh we know we do we know you do I'm not letting you move on reverse and am I good enough in reverse look at that your person they don't feel good enough and they're not letting you move on but they're not saying nothing because they are nervous look at that I miss everything about you they've had a spiritual awakening that they're supposed to be with you they're missing everything about you because look at the spread you got yeah everything to this person Holes are easier to control in reverse. Look at that. Life is great in reverse. No, it ain't. You got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten towers in your life. Okay, spirit turns it up on them because this is a divine connection. They they used to think that a hole would be easier to control. They knew this person was a certain way, but they ignored it. They watching you from fake pages, but they um they hiding that they're doing that because it's in reverse. But now they're like, I don't want no hole. I don't want no like that. I don't want nothing like that. Like this person could have even had a suspicious lifestyle, and your person overlooked it. Like you try to make a hole a housewife type energy i'm coming back just to leave again ego in reverse look at that love offer in reverse they pull back they love offer from this person and they're not coming towards you to leave again they're not in their ego they want to stay for a long time the right time because they in love with your ass look at that don't trust me i'm sneaky as fuck with you are the reason she doesn't trust me so yeah you caused a major issue in this relationship because your person was in love with you the whole time they, they really did do it to themselves. I'm sorry. Look at that. Hanging up my jersey. And let's try again in the next life in reverse. They know, they don't want to try. And whatever you think I did, I did. So this person could have did something that you know that they did. But they, they don't, they're going to try to act like they didn't. Because they don't want to have any more issues with you in their life. But they don't want to try again in the next life. They want to hang up their jersey. They don't want to be a player no more. They done ran into such a bad karmic that they are like i don't want it no more uh-uh look at that third party it's all mine psycho third party you can't go anywhere without me you're mine da -da -da. like they knew your person was watching you loving you your person feels like you're very funny they miss your bomb personality um someone here could be a taurus this divine masculine has a lot of anxiety and they definitely feel very sexual towards you look at that they're scared to reach out towards you they want to let you know that they're real they might be coming towards you in a few weeks they see you as a queen mm -mm -mm. uh daddy issues i feel like someone here could have some daddy issues your person but i am getting it that it could have been this third party gemini someone here could be a gemini i'm getting for some of you guys the karmic is a gemini your person was coming up as emotionally unavailable and look at that illegal activity crime jail in reverse there could have been something legal that came out twice that happened in, because of this relationship that your person's gonna try to hide from you some of you guys i hate to say it, it could have been domestic um, like this person could have put their hands on the third party could have put their hands on your person and your person could have hit them back something like that i'm seeing a very big blowout look at that mask in reverse your person wants to drop the mask because they need you mm. some of y'all might get a call from jail i don't even know where i just got that from some of y'all might get a call from jail from this person okay messages for my person for my collective from their person Look at that. Past 
life, relationship, soulmate. Couldn't leave you if they wanted to. Try to run away from it. Release your ex. They really, they had to release somebody to come towards you. And I feel like a lot of them did. Okay. Okay, but look at that. Express your love in reverse with um retreat. They haven't been saying anything to you. Because they're fucking nervous. They're disconnected from you, the world. They've been through some shit. They can't stop thinking about you, but they know they did too much and they felt so stupid. And now they knew they were the reason of behind this separation. And they feel like you guys, yeah, this person definitely needs to let go of some control issues because they're always trying to control the situation through some sneaky manipulation. But they feel like you guys are just very different. You're very spiritual. They don't really understand that, but they really want to just come towards you. They really got with the fake version of you. Look at that. Reconciliation. Well, honeymoon. This person could try to... And they want you to trust them. They want you to trust them. They want to work on the trust. But someone from your past is returning to reconcile. Let's end it out with your person's final energy. The collective person's energy. Time to let go. They know it's time to let go. And I feel like they have done that. They moved the F on from this third party. What's this person's energy? The, person's, the collective person. They need to pull themselves together. They need to get over themselves. This person could just be trying to pull themselves together right now. They're obsessing over you. They are obsessing. They're going crazy thinking about you. They're really negative and pessimistic though right now because they feel like they ruined everything with you. Um, and they know they need to make better choices. They know they made the wrong choice. So they're kind of in a like, woe is me energy. Give me some advice for my collective about this situation. Shit's about to get real. Mm, tower coming. This person's coming back and it's about to get real. Protect your neck and protect your energy. Now stop talking, okay? Stop talking. If you have been trying to reach out to this person, spirit says don't do that. Let them come to you. Some of you guys need to fucking cry and just release the pain and the energy from this connection. 1144 was just on the clock again. And because you are giving your power away. You gave your power away to this person for now. Fuck them. We know that they broke your heart. Uh, Spirit says stop trying to change people. That shit never works. So you got to let this person go through their karma. I feel like a lot of you guys, they have already broken up with the karmic because some real serious shit went down and if it didn't already happen it's finna happen so spirit is saying shit's about to get real this person's about to come rushing into you telling you how they feel about you telling you they want to get out of this toxic energy of heartbreak and wanting to reconcile okay guys so if this message resonated be sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see y'all later